I'm five minutes away. All right, cool. Um, so I'm trying to explain. You don't know the area that well. Um, okay. So when you follow the GPS, they're literally in the same exact spot. You turn right, and there's like a shopping center. And make your second left to go down to the side street, and there's a um a corner and a light. So when you're on that one road, just go all the way straight down there. There's gonna be a keypad in the bushes. It's gonna look like a ghetto ass block, and you're gonna go all the way down it and just punch in. Um, yeah, I should be able to figure it out. I'll call you if uh, I screw up somehow. What's up? How's it going? That's it. How you doing, man? You good? Yeah. Yeah. What's up? My friend Cornelius. How are you? Yeah. Cornelius. Hey, yeah. I'm Doug. How are nice you? to meet you. So we just went inside. We got situated. We got a few orders because we were super dehydrated and pretty much talked about the game plan. All right, guys. We're here in Long Island right now, and I'm about to do the honorable favor of giving this onyx to Doug Sensor Martin. It's an honor. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you. Look at those canes. Yes, dude. Ooh, look at that. Yes, wow. dude. That's Hell yeah. That's looking fresh. Ah, let's go, dude. Yes. Yo, this is actually amazing, dude. No, this like, is sick as shit. No lie, like no cameras or anything. This is actually sick. Yeah, that is. I might have to change my shorts, though. <laughs> yeah, they don't matter. Do I get to keep this? Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. Thank you so <laughs> much, man. <laughs> yeah, man. All right, I got my long sleeve onyx on. Short sleeve, aka tank top onyx on under that. And I'm gonna mouth fuck some pre-workout before we go. What is this, my third? Yes. So how far is the gym? Uh, like five minutes from here. Five minutes, it's LA Fit, right? LA Fitness. That's it's been the gym I've been going to since I first started working out. Damn. I think it's my second time ever going to any LA Fitness, like ever. In your whole life? You don't, yeah. have, you don't have one near you? Or you nah, just choose not to go? No, I don't have one near me. These are the best. LA Fit, that's where we're training today. Mr. Lady, your water All bottles? my waters will be gone in about 15 seconds. And we have this huge ass PC that Doug used to Sports assassinate a certain someone. Uh, uh oh. Bang bang. Shots fired. <laughs> Good. We need a bag, it's fine. And just this thing. Yeah, I got a phone you number. Have a card? Yeah. See, I'm a goal member at Rite Aid, mm. so it's usually 199 but you enter in your number. Boom, 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 boom. Get your plenty points. You get the plenty points. Oh, so you're a goal member too? Oh, I'm a goal member. You're a goal member? Oh, I know what's up with Rite Aid. Seriously? Oh, absolutely. Look at that, 160. You saved 39 cents. Oh. Hi, what's up, guys? It's uh, Doug Sensor Martin, or Face Sensor. I'm taking over David's vlog right now. He's in the bathroom. He doesn't know. But um, he's going to be in for a crazy, crazy ab and chest workout today. So I don't know what he's doing right now. I think he's, I think he's in the bathroom. He just drank a lot of water. But we're going to get started with this workout really soon. And uh, yeah, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Face Sensor. So nice. It's so nice. I mean, we can wear the flashlight. Have you ever had like have you ever had injuries while lifting? Um, I deadlifted three plates when I was 19. Yeah. And I had never really deadlifted before that, so I never practiced it. And I screwed up my lower back, and it was bad for like a year. You're more likely to like tear your bicep, for example. Than I've seen that, back. dude. Oh my god, I made a YouTube video like reacting to weightlifting injuries, and I every time I do the deadlift, just oh man, it's making yeah. me cringe. No, it's like you, you literally see it. It's like. <laughs> Cornelius has literally only been lifting like six, seven months. And he literally, he, he might have like some of the best genetics I've ever seen. Like he was genuinely like, he weighed like 30 pounds less and he was a complete stick. Yeah, he looks good. Yeah. On the right track. My hip is tight. It's so weird. Your hip? Yeah, like what right here. The foot. Uh, Doc Sensor Martin, 225, two wheels. So I'm just gonna try to work out. It's like I had to say that because I'm like a fat power lifter then. Right. Yeah, so you don't like, want to do as many reps? No, uh, after after this thing I'm gonna do a bunch of reps. I'm gonna probably just kinda of try to like rep out like 225. Okay. Yeah, I'm How high do you wanna go? <sighs> What's your max? What do you I like mean, to hit? I'm not gonna like be able to max today, but because I can't like power lifters like they like really arch on bench and have like a big like setup and stuff. I can't do that right now because of an injury, so I have to go more flat back, so I'd be happy with like a 295. That's good. Does that feel good? 
Good? Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Up, up, up. That's heavy. <laughs> That's a big boy weight. Quinny's got to show you a picture from like six months ago. He was a pencil. You? Yeah, Quinny. Dude, his dad was a professional bodybuilder, so he's got them genetics. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, up, 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 up. Yeah. Woo. Woo. Dude. When yeah. someone like screams at like your face, like in the, in the middle of oh it helps it so helps much. You. The slap too. Yeah. Have you ever gotten a huge slap before you lift? Yeah, it wakes oh. you up, it shocks you. Yeah. Oh, like, ever, ever like, have the, like, you know, like, if you have to, like, stand straight and just, like, fall back? Like, you know, there's, trust like, times, yeah, like, trust that since I'm y'all nervous to do it. Or just, like, oh, for example, like, jump or hop over something. If you push you back, it's like you can't control it. Yeah. But if you get, like, slapped really, like, hard, like, that releases that drag, you just don't think about it. You just do. Yeah. So, yeah, it kind of helps on a lift. You ever right. go bungee jumping? <laughs> no, I haven't. I did that in Mexico on these mountains. Like, it was literally, you look down, and it was just pointy mountains, like, a few hundred feet under you. Uh, and I and jumped just, into it. I just jumped into oh, it like my. that. And my girl went after me. It took her, we went around sunset. It took her like two hours to jump and it was dark, so she couldn't even see. Oh and she's like, it's better because I can't see anything. I swear on my life, I've done a lot of crazy things. That is the scariest thing. Jesus. I was so scared. Even after the bungee stopped and I was like getting ready to get pulled up, I was like, all right, I do pull ups every day. I'm good. You know, I'm going to pull myself up on this rope. Like, I was so scared. Once I got back up on that, that platform, thank God. Would you, would you go skydiving? Would you jump out of a plane? I've done it twice. You have? How yeah. was that? It doesn't feel like anything. What uh, you know, like when you go down a roller coaster, you get that feeling in your no, stomach. No, it's not like that. You don't get that. You don't get anything, dude. Really? Nothing. Uh, the entire time, I thought I was gonna get so nervous. I, I made videos on this on my channel, and you literally like you go to jump out of the plane. Might, you might be a little nervous. I wasn't at all for some reason. Uh -huh. And right when you fall out of the plane, you just instantly just feel wind. It just feels like there's a huge fan blowing wind on you. You don't feel nervous. You don't feel the fall. You have goggles on, that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Dude, I feel like I would want to do that, and I would tell myself I could, but I feel like when I'd be on that ledge, I'd just be like, no, Bro, so I'm telling you, you can't off. even see the ground, though. It just looks like blue. Like, you look down at this ground, it's black. Imagine this floor is painted blue. That's what it looks like. You don't have a sense of the depth. How long does it take to like, hit the ground? I mean, if you didn't have a parachute, probably like, I don't know, a minute and a half. And that's a long time, like falling, a minute and a half. But with the parachute, it's like a three minute thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a good experience. It's like a hundred bucks. It's not a bad thing. You do it in one day, you don't need a cert. You just go in. Definitely have a guy help you though. Like, have a guy on your back. Dude, I saw a video of this guy. He jumped out of the plane, like, no parachute, nothing, along with two people that did, and they had to, like, catch each other midair and, oh, like, no. save them. Like, think about that. Oh, no. rush. Dude, I would never do that alone. I would always do tandem. I always have a person with me on my back so that they pull out the parachute. I, I trust that. I don't trust myself with pulling the cords or anything. Huh. That's fine. Let's go hit this. Yep. Come on. There you go. Come on, come on, come on. I don't get scared of anything. I do whatever, you know. I, I want to be crazy. My motivation is death. I mean, everyone's going to die. You might as well just make the most of your life when you live in That's what always gets me through everything. All the time. True, true. I know it's weird and it could be depressing if you think about it like that, but that's what motivates me to go to the gym every day. That's what motivates me to do crazy shit. That's what motivates yeah. me when I don't have a video to make a video. Dude, I feel like it's the worst feeling ever. If you like age a lot, you're like you're 40 years old, like oh, all this shit I that I, I could have done, done. Like, and that's like that has to be the worst thing because you can't do shit about it. Unless you have a fucking flux capacity, I you can't I went go back. To the gym and I, I hit the gym and I had a good body and I could go to the beach and you know be proud of myself at the beach. And, yeah. You know. True. 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 I don't want to live that life. Ooh, nice. Nice. Yeah, that's my heavy single. I'm not going out. All right, we did our heavy singles and shit. Now we're just pretty much going to rep out two plates and do some other accessories. Good shit.
There you go. Come on. Let's go. One more, one more, one more. Got it. Oh, push. There it is. Push it, push it, push it. There you go. Good shit. What'd you get, Dave? Me? Yeah. So it's the first time I'm hitting abs in quite a good minute. So we did like one exercise. I started cramping up tremendously because I'm like really dehydrated and so I'm drinking a lot of water and eat this banana and hopefully I'll be good. Oh my god. Huh. Mind blowing. Yeah, I can hear. This is my second time ever. All right, so we finished up the workout. We started off just dealing like chest, and yeah, just pretty much chest. And then after that, Doug put me through a vicious ab routine, and I haven't hit abs in like quite a while, so I'm gonna be really, really, really sore tomorrow. But yeah, we did that. It was fun, and we're about to head back to the house. Going back right now, we're gonna finish recording the final part of the ab workout. I, I planned out, I said, yo, David, come out to Long Island. We're gonna film a cool video together. Um, we're gonna commentate over the ab workout that we just did. Uh, I, I wanted to do like a partner thing so that you guys can see things you could do with your friends when you go home. So um, it's a really good video. I think you guys are gonna like it, for sure. Yeah, it's gonna be on Doug's channel. You'll see it. Doug's currently chopping up a few clips for the ab workout, and we're about to do a voiceover after that. Cornelius, how, how would you say the workout went? Amazing, absolutely amazing. Doug, how you would like you... Like a solid 8.5 out of 10. Solid 8.5 out of 10, solid. Look, look at the camera. What? Look at the camera. 
face. Do you have a phone charger? Of course I do. You want to get that for you? Uh, yes, please. So we just finished the voiceover for uh, Doug's video, and I'm actually extremely... This is the first time in my life where I pretty much nailed the voiceover in the first try. This is literally never happened before. It usually takes, like, a whole bunch of tries. That was actually crazy, dude. Yeah, but, like, Doug, I, I pretty much... I was like, Doug, like, something tells me you're the type of guy that just nails voiceovers, like, doing a retake is just not a thing for you. It's, like, not in your, like, vocation. It's not in your life. You just don't do that. And he's like, yup. <laughs> that's true. I just I just don't fuck up. Like no, it was perfect, dude. I yeah, think, I think that went absolutely perfect. Everything. Yeah. I think the workout was great. I think it was awesome that you came out here. I think it's dope that we're collabing. Like I think since you've been in Gymshark and yeah. I've been in Gymshark for such a long time, we live so close. It was yeah. only a matter of time before we did something yeah. together. And I think you're really gonna like this. Yeah. So yeah, like I said, definitely go to Duck's channel. Check this ad workout out. Huh? Is this part of the trick? No, that's that's just. Oh. Is <laughs> this part yeah, of the notice. trick? <laughs> And your card is inside the box. Wait, did you tell them a story about those? What story? About how you used to sell them. About how poison? Nah, no, I was in fucking town. <laughs> he used to sell these things. Everyone used to come up to him for like two dollars. Have a uh, pack of cards. Just want you to take out any card you want. Okay. Anything. Okay, take it and just drop a signature on it. Okay. Okay. Yep. Good. Yeah, let me see. So that is properly on there. Right. So that's I'll my take signature. your seven. Uh huh. And I'm gonna <laughs> fold it. Now this may sound weird, but I want you to just bite on it with your teeth. Yeah, just like that. All right. Um, can you open that sharpie for me? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take the next card. Hold it down, out. Yeah. Yeah, just, just like right. that. You cap that. Uh-huh. What is it? Okay. So here I have just the king of diamonds. I put my initial on the diamond. Now watch. I'm going to take it. Fold it. No fucking way. How'd you do that? Bro, how did you do that? <laughs> how did you do that? What? <laughs> Dude, no way. How did you do that? It was in my mouth the whole time. Did you not feel my, like, spiritual energy just transform with quantum Bro, physics? how did you do that? Stop trying to drop this science <laughs> on me, dude. How did you do that? Dude, it's real magic. I dude, that literally just blew my mind. I'm serious. I, I told mind. you. And you see the Sharpie? Now it's gone. JK, it's right here. Yeah. That makes sense, but that shit doesn't make yeah. sense at all. <laughs> that makes no sense. Did you Google that shit? No, I used to be a full-blown magician when I was young. It was my obsession. I literally got a scholarship to, like, international magic camp. Like, I met David Blaine and everything. I was literally obsessed David with David Blaine's it. a man, right? He is the man. Dude, how the, how the heck did you just do that? Here, just say stop. Stop. There. Here, just memorize that card, that uh -huh. ace of diamonds. Yeah. Take the ace, put it here, just push it in. <laughs> well, how did you do that? Dude, the thing is, people think it's like technical skills. People, this is it's actual magical powers. Like, can you teach me the magical powers? We need to make a YouTube video. David, David teaches Doug the magical powers. <laughs> Dude, I want to know that card trick. Seriously, I want to know how you just did that. This is his signature <laughs> that he bit up in his mouth. Is it like a card that like switches? Does it like switch in your mouth? Is it like a dissolving card? Like, <laughs> like how 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 is that even possible? Pack of cards. You didn't take it out of my mouth. Like that I mean, I did, but you just it wasn't moving. It was on the camera. Maybe in the physical world it was, but in the quantum blah 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 big science where it's twenty dollar words, real magic happened. That's is this magic. going in your vlog right now? Yeah. This is going in your vlog. Yeah. Guys, I want you to comment and tell me how he did this. I'm gonna be watching. I'm gonna be reading the comments. I want to know how this is possible. <laughs> Oh no. Because no. a magician never reveals their secrets. But people in the comments don't give up. And they'll say anything. Dude, I need to know. I need to know. I need some sort of an explanation so it feels justified in my head. See, here's the thing. Here's how I got into magic. I, I was like 10 years old. I went to a magic show in like the Tropicana, which is like a casino, right? I went to the show, mind fucked, right? 
And then after that, I went to like a local magic shop inside the casino. I went in that magic shop, and obviously the people behind the counter know how to do magic. And the guy did a few tricks for me with cards, and like, I, I just still, it was like, this, like, I can't move on with my life. I can't go to sleep tonight unless I know how this was done. There's literally no way this just happened in front of my eyes. So I, I could not continue on with life until I knew how to do it and was able to do it. So I literally bought a magic book, like read it all night, then I started everything else on YouTube. Is it with your hands? Is this something you do with your hands? Well, I mean, your hands are touching the cards. Yeah, your hands are touching the cards. That's something to do with your hands. It's not something with your mind. This isn't some Jedi, the Force be with you, mm. Star Wars, you hoobla. <laughs> Oh, fall down sometimes. Bam, bam, bam. Card flourishes is like another thing that I was into pretty heavily. Fuck. Wow. Kind of pre workout, shaky hands messing it up. Yeah, you before I left there, I did magic. That was my thing. I gotta watch this video back. I'm gonna watch this video back in slow-mo and see how he did that. That's the thing. Since we haven't recorded, I could go on YouTube and type in point twenty-five speed. I'm gonna watch that back. Dude, there's no way. There really is no way, but there is a way. There's one way. Dude, that's crazy. That's insane. Yeah. Yeah, that just happened. Do another one. Another one? Um, alright. I'm gonna take out four cards. This one's really technically difficult. I hope I don't fuck this up. Okay. Should I just, what should I do with this card? Souvenir. Do you need this? Uh, uh, I'll take it. I literally bought this Sharpie. Give just for this trick because I don't have any. All right, so four cards in my hand. One, two, three, four. What I need you to do is keep your eye on the two diamonds. If the two's on the bottom, and I reverse the order of the cards, where would that place the two now? On the top. You know, it's funny, a lot of people get that wrong for some reason. So it is on the top. But if you take the two and put it on the bottom, right? Right. You might think it's on the bottom, but if you just cup your hands for a second, it comes to the top. Okay. Right? Right. Take the two. Uh -huh. You can put it in third position, right? Mm -hmm. Cup your hands like that, and it comes to the top. Take the two, put it here, with a cup like that, it just comes to the top. Take it, put it on the bottom, snap, it's on top. Take the two, put it on the bottom, snap, it comes to the top. Now, I know what you're thinking. They're probably all the same card, and the thing is, you're actually right, because here we have a ten of spades, here we have a ten, another ten, and a ten. So technically, we're all tens, but if you just snap, wave, you have a joker, you have another joker, another joker, and another joker. Wait, what? <laughs> that's crazy, dude. How did you just do that one? Dude, how, seriously, how did you just do that? Jesus, how much How much do you practice that, seriously, at your house? How many no, times do you no, have to practice I, that? When I became just like ridiculously obsessed, I would just every single day be packing my heart, packing cards in my hand all the time that I really got into flourishes and I would do all that. Actually, my YouTube channel is called, Compu like my fitness channel is called Computerman91. Like my first ever few videos of me when I was like 10 with a little girl pre-pubescent. What's that? Oh, God, I'm going to teach you how to like do this with a Windows Movie Maker. Like all this stuff, right? Then I literally have 90 videos that are still up, but they're on private of just me doing magic. And that's what it was. And then like, I remember I told you got injured. I made my transformation video, like uploaded it to that channel and just... It blew up and like it became my fitness channel. So I try to like hide the computer in my 91 part. A few people know about that. That's my channel. But you should yeah. like make a video like reacting to your old magic tricks. <laughs> Dude, that'd be that'd be pretty. That'd be sick. Like you now versus you back. Yeah. Run. No. Back here. That's why being a gym shark athlete helps. The dog runs out. I'm gonna take this takes. girl for a walk. I'm gonna hop in the shower and probably just relax for the rest of the night. Yeah. Who knows? Sounds fantastic. You have a long drive home. Got a nice long drive home, but I got some delicious G Fuel over here, so that's gonna, I'm gonna be sipping on that, sipping on some caffeine so I don't get in a car accident and die. But right. yeah, pretty much we're gonna go home and I'm gonna edit this video. And Doug actually gave me a bunch of inspiration to make different types of videos and all that stuff. So a lot more content coming soon. And yeah, well, see you guys in the next video. You wanna say bye, Cornelius? Peace, guys. Peace out, everyone. Ooh. Bye. Ooh.